the end of the 19th century, Moscow's population was growing thanks to the rail lines that now connected the community to the rest of the country. As the country became more industrialized, children were able to attend school instead of working. In 1892, Moscow's public high school enrollment stood at seven. By 1897, it had grown to 72. The original high school slash elementary school building was pushed past capacity and the city decided to invest in its future. This time was known as the Progressive School Era, a time of social activism and political reform where kids across the country were encouraged to obtain education regardless of gender or social status. In fact, if you approach the 1912 Center from 3rd Street and walk up the east side stairs, you'll notice a beautiful plaque at the entrance. The thoughtful quote reads, 1912, erected by the citizens of Moscow Independent School District Number 5, and dedicated to the training of the young people of this community for lives of usefulness and to the development of the highest ideals of manhood and womanhood. This quote is very indicative of the changes that were happening during this time period. Note that the dedication strives for the highest ideals of manhood and womanhood. For the first time, women were being encouraged to obtain education through high school and beyond and were entering the workforce en masse in professional jobs that required literacy, intellect. In fact, during this time, women dominated the workforce in nursing, teaching, and social work. The plaque stands over a century later to remind us of the sense of equality that has long been cherished in our community. From the League of Women Voters to the Moscow Giving Circle, from the amazing female PhDs at the University of Idaho to the Women's Center on campus, and all the amazing women in between, we salute you. And so does legendary journalist and activist Gloria Steinem, seen posing here. Thanks for listening, and remember to subscribe and drop by to see our newly renovated second floor. Bye-bye.